Hello world, it is Wednesday, July 22nd. And yet another warm and humid morning this morning. Some scattered thunder showers today, it's sounding like, uh, which are still badly needed. So we haven't had a lot of rain this summer and a, an awful lot of heat. Someone said to me the other day that um, this weather's on, that uh, when the weather is good for only one thing, it's good for corn. Um, <laughs> and I think they're talking about hot weather. I guess corn likes hot weather. I don't know. But I got to believe that it needs some rain too. The devotional for today is entitled Protest and Praise, Ma written by Matthew Laney. And it's based on Psalm 42, verses 1 through 3. And he used the New King James Version. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while, while people continually say to me, Where is your God? And Matthew writes, The day after Rayshard Brooks was murdered by an Atlanta police officer, I served on a team of protest chaplains, as people gathered to express grief and rage at police for yet another black man needlessly gunned down. Our role was to support people's rights, people's right to protest, de-escalate tension, serve as shields between police and citizens, and through our presence in clerical attire, represent the solidarity of the church with the community. Many lovely songs and paintings have been inspired by As the Deer Longs for Water. Rarely, if ever, do these homages include verse 3 my tears have been my food day and night because people are tormenting me these words are better fit for a poster board in a black Lives matters protest than decor from a christian bookstore black and brown people in atlanta minneapolis los angeles chicago louisville brunswick everywhere know the diet of tears too well the thirst for justice equality and an end to violence goes back a long long way Psalm 42 does not end with a cheery picture of the future. Instead, the psalmist encourages praising God even when enemies taunt, making praise a form of protest and protest a form of praise. That means protest chaplains might also serve as praise chaplains, praising God for the victory that all will soon be won. And Matthew's prayer. God, when victory seems a long way off, I don't feel like, and I don't feel like praising. Remind me that you are marching too. Amen. You know, that's one of the things that always strikes me about reading the Bible is how the more things change, the more they stay the same. It's a totally, completely different world in many respects from when these stories were written, um, especially the Psalms or times of Jesus, and yet some of the issues still continue to exist, that certain groups of people are discriminated against, um, violence, greed, and corruption run rampant through our world. Um, people are more concerned with making money than they are in ensuring that everyone has uh, adequate amount of food and clothing and housing to live. It's a never-ending struggle, and um, we have to keep doing work to try to bring heaven on earth, um, just as we pray for it. So I guess that's the one of the reasons the psalmist turns to encouraging, praising God, even when enemies taunt, because it is never-ending. We have to keep going. We have to keep trying and doing what we can with what we have where we are and giving God praise and thanks for what we do have and working every day to ensure that everyone can breathe, that everyone can live, and that people can find a place in a sanctuary free from fear and oppression. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep working. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow.